have to close the doors. We will cease operation here. Tempers flaring as hundreds of Navajos are turned away, unable to get important rental assistance. The Navajo Nation saying safety was the primary concern as long lines of people waited outside in the heat to receive assistance. ABC 15's Jorge Torres sharing their frustration. It was a frustrating day for many Navajo families who were waiting for hours with lines going as far as the eye could see, only to be turned away. While some did get some help, many didn't. They've been waiting. How long have you been in line for? Um, five o'clock this morning. And you didn't make it inside? Okay. From near. I live here in the valley. Been here for like 20 years. And far. I drove down from Flagstaff today. Braving the blazing Arizona sun. Standing around in the heat. As long as I get in, you know, before the day is over. To get much needed assistance from the Navajo Nation. People need their money. So, and it's, you know, again, it's, it's good that the Navajo Nation is helping us. Today was day two of the Navajo Nation's assistance drive in Phoenix, helping people with their hardship checks through the Office of the Controller, enrolling with the Navajo Nation and with emergency rental assistance, benefiting those like Lawrence Lamont. I'm still looking for work, and so rental assistance is going to really help me out hopefully for a couple of months. Many here were in line since five this morning, waiting for their turn in near triple digit temperatures. Because of the heat, we have to close the doors. We will cease operation here. Ceasing operations until further notice, frustrating many still in line. You are not going, of course, yeah, so don't lift. Next time be organized. You know, with the uh, a lot of emotions and plus, you know, the uh, weather, you know, there, there was a lot of frustration. We spoke to Navajo Nation President Jonathan Nez about today's fiasco, saying the large turnout wasn't anticipated. We just underestimated the, the big turnout that, uh, that was there in Phoenix because people are driving from even from the Navajo Nation to go down to Phoenix to to uh, get their uh, assistance and to get their questions answered. Shane Sosi from Flagstaff also made the long trek, taking a day off from work with nothing to show for it. Now I'm not going to miss another day from work when I could be using time at work to make the money as opposed to just getting it. President Nez proclaiming to those waiting for assistance to be understanding and that help is coming. I know it's going to be difficult for a lot of our relatives to recognize this, recognize this but we just ask for your patience. Uh, again, 300,000 of our Navajo people have received their, their assistance, their hardship checks, and we're looking at about uh, under 100,000 still to go. President Nez tells me that he'll be working with the Office of the Comptroller to help bring more staff to assist with programs like this, along with providing a permanent office here at the Phoenix Indian Center to give the Navajo people who live in the valley the help they need. Reporting here in Phoenix, Jorge Torres, ABC 15, Arizona.